Shalom. Welcome back to Ivrit. Manishma. What's new? Is everything good? Koto? Great. Let's jump right into our lesson today. The name of our Torah portion for this week is Balak. If you turn to page 41 in your Jot and Tittle notebook, you can follow along with the words of Numbers 22, verses 2 and 3, as I read them from the Hebrew text. Surprisingly, we don't open this week with our age-old saying, Ve'yedeber Adonai el Moshe. We actually have a new opening. So, with great interest, let's begin reading in verse 2. Ve'yare balach b'nei tzipur et kol asher asa Yisrael le'amori. Vayagad Moav Mifne Ha'am Ma'od Kirav Hu Vayakatz Moav Mifne Bene Israel. Okay, I'm sure you recognized Bene Israel. That's good. And we also had in the first line Balak is Ben Tzipur, the son of Tzipur. Just the same as the Torah portion, Korach, this week's Torah portion, has a double meaning. Balak being the name of a man, but also meaning destroyer. Let's look for a moment at the related words. Balak, the man, was the king of Moab. Balak also means to destroy or to lay waste. Bilek means to destroy. Bulak means to be destroyed. And then we have a figure of speech. It's not a literal translation. It's a common idiom to teach someone a lesson. You actually teach so-and-so a Balak, which is said in Hebrew, Lelamed et pluni balak. We will continue our lesson by reading through Numbers 22, verses 2 and 3, line by line. I will leave time for you to repeat after me. Let's begin. Vaira Balak ben Sipur et kol And it means, and saw Balak, the son of Sipur, all... And the next line begins with asher, meaning that. Actually, the word asher in Hebrew is a very common word. It is used all the time. It's a good one to commit to your memory, asher. The second line, asher asa Yisrael le'amori. It means that they did Israel to the Amorites. The third line, Vayagad Moav Mifne Ha'am Ma'od. Vayagad means and feared. Next we have the word Moav, or Moab as most of us know it from our English translations. And feared Moab, Mifne means from before, ha'am me'od, the people greatly. Fourth line, ki rav hu. Ki rav hu means, and he was many. Last line, vayakatz mo'av mifne b'nei Yisrael. The word mifne literally means from before or from in the face of. We have learned that a vav in front of any Hebrew word means and. We've also learned that a bet before any Hebrew word can mean in, whereas he means the. 
The mem means from. These are the prepositions in the Hebrew language. They, are, they stand alone as single Hebrew letters added to words. So when we see mifne, it means from before. That's all for the lesson today. Continue studying. Have a great week. Shavua Tov.